In the last video, we took a look at colorizing the theme of Cubase, and in this one, we're going to look at meters. Here inside of the main mix console of Cubase, we can see here the channels are all playing back some audio, and this one in particular, I've increased the pre-gain to maximum. Now, I'm not mad, it's just I wanted to give you guys a visual representation of the meter working across its full color range. And to change the colors of our meters, we need to head to Edit, then Preferences. If you're on Mac, it's Cubase, then Settings. From the Preferences window, we need to go to the Metering menu and check the submenu Appearances. This will give us access to the controls for customizing the colors of our meters. By default, there are three controls here. We can slide up or down, and each control has two boxes that can be clicked on to open up the independent color pickers and assign a color to, for example, this top box and then the bottom box. Towards the bottom here, we have a drop down menu called scale and by default, it should be showing the mix console channel meter, which is plus three dB digital channel meter. If not, just click the down arrow and select it from the list. We can also look at and customize other metering scales inside of Cubase. For now, we're going to stick with the default meter and then reset it by clicking defaults. Next, I'm going to remove some of these other controls and give you an idea of how this works. Let's set the input here to minus 12 for this control. And then from the top box, open the color picker and assign a different color. So let's pick yellow. What's really useful about this is when I hit apply, I've now created a very basic visual guide to where minus 12 dB is, which is very useful for when you're adjusting your levels or doing any gain staging. This is just a very crude example of how the controls work. So let's take this up a notch by adding some more controls. By clicking the add button, we can add a new control. You can see here it's been placed at the top. Let's set this to zero. Now let's change this top color to a green. Click OK, then apply. And now you can see our meter has been separated into three different colors. Let's go ahead and add another control. Now you'll notice there's a slight gradient going on here, and this is because if there's a difference between the lower controls top color and the upper controls bottom color, it'll create a gradient in between. Now, if I don't want there to be this yellow gradient and just want it to be solid green, I'm going to open up the color picker for the green, press Ctrl and C to copy, then open the lower box of the top control and press Ctrl and V to paste. Let's also customize the very top here so it's red and then change this to zero. So now we know when we're clipping. Now we know how these controls work. Let's have a little play around with some of the gradients here. Um, we'll start off by making the top box of the lower control a blue color or maybe purple blue. Let's go for blue. Then for the middle control, we'll change this to a turquoise light blue. Mm, that'll do. And then for this, we'll set this to minus 6 dB. And then the top color of it, change it to um, yellow. There we go. Now with this top control, let's change this to zero. Open up the top color picker and give it a brighter yellow still. So this will act as our indicator for when we're clipping. And as you can see here, once you click apply, it applies it to the meters of Cubase. Now in the right zone of the control room on the meter tab, you can choose the different meter scales from the drop down list here. And obviously we can customize the colors for all of these. Now, if we want to copy our colors over to the different meter scales, it's a little bit tedious, but let me show you how to do it. First of all, let's go back to our preferences window, edit preferences and then under metering appearance we're going to select the top color press ctrl and c to copy and then from the list we're going to go over to the k20 meter open up the color picker and press ctrl and v to paste the same yellow now it will take you some time to copy and paste all of these colors across onto the different controls for your meters 
And if you do decide to customize all of the meters in Cubase, remember to save it as a preset in your preferences. This will allow you to toggle between different color themes that you've saved as preferences in Cubase and recall them quite easily. Remember, save your preferences. If you click default, then apply in the metering appearance window before saving any settings, you're going to feel like a bit of a knob. Congratulations, you've made it to the end of the video. Hopefully you found this useful. If you didn't, then just leave me a comment and some constructive feedback and I'll take it into consideration. Hopefully you've enjoyed this and you've learned something. As always guys, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you all in the next video.